My name is Srinidhi Sankaraman, and I am a junior at Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology. My project is on the determination of the firefly luciferase mRNA concentration and encapsulation efficiency in nanoparticles using a ribogreen assay. So the background behind why I chose to do this project was I was learning in AP Bio and in neuroscience that gene therapy is not successful because current vectors, for example, liposomes and cationic lipids, are not successful in fully transforming the nucleic acid they've given, or the mRNA or DNA, into the body, and they lose them in the process. And I wanted to find a way to optimize this process to help um, gene therapy and the medical field and society as a whole. So I actually conducted this research at an ACIP program, or summer internship program, at George Mason University in the bioengineering department under Dr. Bushman. So now for a quick summary of my project. So my essential project was about the determination of the firefly luciferase mRNA concentration and encapsulation efficiency in nanoparticles using a ribogreen assay. So first behind the general introduction and purpose. So gene therapy currently is a process in which bad genes or negative genes that aren't functioning properly are removed and functioning genes are replaced. And the reason why this project is occurring was because current gene therapy applications such as cationic lipids and liposomes are essentially inefficient because while transporting the mRNA into the patient body or even DNA into the patient body, they are inefficient and lose these nucleic acids in the process. So our goal was to find optimal conditions such as the type of vector, the volume to weight ratios, the time durations, and other factors such as interference that could help optimize the gene therapy process. So you might be wondering why use mRNA instead of DNA? The reason why we chose to use mRNA instead of DNA was that it is safer, and this is because DNA poses a challenge of mutagenesis, and this can mutate while mRNA can't. Hence, mRNA is a safer option to go instead of DNA. So our general research questions were what type of vector has the most successful encapsulation efficiency for mRNA, what is the most optimal condition for successful mRNA delivery system, and what are the ideal ways to optimize the measurement systems that are crucial for determining success of mRNA delivery systems. So for our overall experiment, we use the materials of a ribogreen agent, um, the mRNA, LFM and LNP vectors, Optimum, Trident, and our buffers. So next to our general methodology. Essentially, as you can see in this diagram, we first started out with a sample solution. We kept that in the first well. Then after we kept a backdrop solution of a buffer, and following that we used a Trident solution with the sample. And you might be wondering, why use a Trident solution? The reason why we used a Trident solution was because it broke apart the sample cells. And when it broke apart these sample cells, the mRNA inside it came out. When we put ribogreen, whatever it intercalated to or binded to was what fluoresced. And this allowed us to calculate the total encapsulated MR the total mRNA concentrations because whatever the ribogreen was able to bind to was what was the mRNA after the cells had been cleaved. Then after that, in the previous cells, we kept ribogreen and whatever it binded to was what was outside of the cell. Therefore, by subtracting these two measurements, we were able to find how much of the mRNA was encapsulated and the total encapsulation efficiency. So now that we've gone over our basic methodology, we're going to go to our results. So for our first result, we looked at the success of different volume to weight ratios, and we saw that specifically in an LFMM vector, a 50 nanogram to 50 microliter ratio was the most optimal and actually significantly improved the encapsulation efficiency. And this allowed us to see that the optimal vector was LFMM over LNP and that a specific volume to weight ratio of 50 nanograms to 50 microliters was, was what was able to significantly increase encapsulation efficiency. Next, we want to see if there were any interfering substances even that might be present in laboratories that could affect the measurements and also affect um, gene therapy and vector productions. And we saw that two major interference were Trident and Optimum. And when these two substances were removed, the encapsulation efficiency significantly increased by around 25%. And as you can see in these diagrams, the Trident and Optimum significantly lower the encapsulation efficiencies. Hence, 
we saw that without Trident Optimum, the measurement system's accuracy could be improved, and also the encapsulation efficiencies of the vectors would also improve. Finally, we looked at time duration and specific time duration periods of when the vectors would be most optimal, and we found that between a time period of one to six days, the um, the vector storage of the mRNA, for example, for trialing LNP and DWLNP was most successful as past these ranges, the encapsulation efficiencies decreased and passed the possible and good th threshold for gene therapy. So in essence, our experiment was able to find the optimal volume to weight ratios, which type of vector was best for gene therapy to succeed, specific time duration periods, and interference that weren't identified before. So in conclusion, our project was able to find optimal conditions and the impact of these conditions were to make more efficient delivery systems, which could help solve diseases such as um, prostate cancer or heart disease or diabetes in the future with improved gene therapy systems. Although this um, is just one step in the right direction, it will revolutionize hopefully the gene delivery systems and it's critical for gene therapy and crucial for saving not only the lives in our society, but also revol revolutionizing the medical and science field. Thank you. In conclusion, this project proved to be a great learning experience, and I would like to thank Dr. Bushman and George Mason University again for their help in conducting the project. Thank you.